y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, I'm going to be explaining the science behind why infused foods work. Today, I'm going to be covering everything from what to do if you've indulged in too much and the science behind it, specifically focusing on what is the first pass effect and even how it converts to a new compound. When you consume our favorite ancient plant via ingestion, it takes on a totally different form than when you inhale it. Instead of the compounds going straight to your brain, as if you would if you inhaled it, the product actually takes a much longer and more complex journey through your digestive system. <clears throat> Let me sit back a little bit. Let me get a little comfortable. But here's the kicker. This longer process is the very reason why it is so much stronger and more potent than its other consumption cousins. Let me explain why. The journey starts when you eat the infused product. Your stomach digests it, and it is then absorbed into your bloodstream through the intestine walls. From there, it makes its way to the liver, and that is called the first pass effect. In the liver, enzymes break down the compound into a new one called 11 hydroxy t HC. This form is highly more bioavailable, meaning it can pass the blood brain barrier more effectively, thus for making it much more potent and stronger long lasting effects. So what's so special about this new compound? Well, specifically, it is much more potent than the regular one we're all used to dealing with. While some studies vary, most conclude it is four to five times stronger. This is why even ingesting a small dose can feel so much more intense than when you're puffing on it. And it doesn't stop there. This compound also takes significantly longer to break down in your body. And that shows because its effects last anywhere from four to 12 hours, depending on your tolerance, metabolism, dosage, Another important factor is timing. Unlike vaporizing or combustion, where the effects are instant, ingesting these products can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours to feel the effects. Why is that? Well, your digestive system isn't the quickest. So patience is key when consuming via this method. So remember, start low and go slow. You can always take more later, but you can't take less when you're feeling overwhelmed. But actually, we're gonna get into that in a little bit, what to do when you are feeling like you overindulged. Because we've all heard those stories of people going a little too overboard. Because ironically, they didn't feel it right away. Don't be that person. The intensity of infused products dosage can vary from person to person. And that comes from various factors such as body weight, tolerance, and even what you've had to eat today can all influence how they affect your body. Fun fact, consuming infused foods with fat will help boost the effects as our favorite compound is fat soluble. It needs something to latch on to. So next time you're indulging on an infused foods experience, consider pairing it with avocado toast, french fries, or some healthy fats. But before we go, I wanna talk about a few quick tips. If you're new to consuming, start with a super low dose. I'm talking five to 10. Remember, always wait at least two hours before redosing. Make sure to store these products in a secure location, in a lockbox, particularly if you have kids and pets. And remember, stay hydrated. Please make sure to have those snacks and munchies on hand. You'll need them. And remember, if you've taken too much, you can always take a cold shower to shock your nervous system. This isn't like alcohol. You can trick your nervous system out of it. You can also suck on black peppercorn or consume CBD in almost any form. And drinking plenty of water and getting something in your stomach will also help as well. I love 
infused foods. I think the best way to destigmatize this plant is through infused culinary experiences. So that's why I started the brand that I did. Because no, everybody might not be apt to puff in on a J, but everyone's grandma's gonna love a cookie. The versatility of this plant is endless when it comes to using it in foods, beverages, any type of recipe really. And that's where my brand came in. We formulated a powder that could elevate any food or recipe. It's a little niche, but I think if you're just getting into it, no matter what state you're in, there are options like gummies and seltzers. If you're curious about taking home your own 50 state legal infused products, make sure to check the pinned comment below for details and to save a few bucks. And as a medical patient, I really appreciate the potency and the longevity of all of these products effects. There you have it guys. I hope you learned something new today. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below if you have any questions and to keep the conversation going. This is my specialty. So I love chatting with you guys about this. If you'd like to learn more about our favorite ancient plant, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you're curious about my type of content, my previous video was comparing the bomb and the new peak, and my next upload will be a celebration for hitting 1K subscribers. I post new full-length YouTube videos every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at noon MST, and I post original Instagram shorts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll be seeing you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.